What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie John's Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs, y'all. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous week so far. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> All right. So just a heads up, you guys already know there is a spam account going on on TikTok, okay? Please don't get scammed. It's not me. I will never, ever, ever message you. And ask you if you want a personal reading. I do have a TikTok, but the name on it says at Leslie Jones Tarot. Okay, and it has like 11,000 11, uh, followers. So that's my account. The other account is not mine. It says Manifesting Scorpios with an S on it. That is not mine. Okay, so don't get scammed out. Um, what else? Happy freaking birthday to all the Scorpios out there, y'all. Happy birthday, turn out turn out. Ah! Okay, and thank y'all for all the likes, shares, and subscribes on the channel. And let's dive into this thing. Enough of that. Enough of that stuff. Okay, what's going on? Energy for Scorpio. Oh, if y'all hear the noise in the background, it's baby girl. She up. We at this thing. It's 4 o'clock in the morning, y'all. We at it. 111. We at it. What's going on? Scorpio energy. What's going on? Scorpio energy. The garden and the gate. Number 30. 35 at the bottom of the deck. First, first chakra, Archangel Michael. Ooh. Now, this is your root chakra, Okay. Um, this is what has to do with like grounding yourself and things like that. So make sure you're grounding yourself because it looks like you're about to have an opportunity to step outside your comfort zone is what it looked like. Okay. For you to, it's like you already have, because you're in this gratitude energy, you already have everything you desire, but there's something more for you to explore. So let's see here. Let's read, let's, let's read both of them. Okay. I like to get the right messages out. All right. Let's see. 35. Here we go. First chakra, stability and security. Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Mm -hmm. Even if you've had the problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges right. are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path. So allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. That affirmation, my first chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. I am strong, stable, safe, and secure. The Archangel Michael guides and supports me always. So y'all are being protected by Archangel Michael right now uh, to make sure your stability is on point, okay? If you feel like you you a little off, you need to step outside barefooted, plant your feet, go hug a tree, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you keep yourself grounded at this time or do some... For, um, root chakra meditation okay where the color red the color red helps you it helps bring that stability in you know it helps you um close your eyes and think of your your first chakra it's the one that's located at the base of your spine okay i mean your your yeah your root chakra that's the base of your spine here so um number 30 i do some meditation before i go to work <laughs> Let's see. The garden and the gate. Abundant prosperity, staying safe. This card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck. This card upright bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware. The choice to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate. So, again, this is like, it, they say the karmic path, that has to do with like, maybe you got to learn a few lessons, okay? Sometimes you got to take some L's, you know, in them karmic lessons, let's, let's not... That's not lying, <laughs> but you learn something in them, which makes things, uh, which makes you better, which makes you grow, which makes um, you level up and ascend higher. You know, sometimes some lessons do, you know, <laughs> now I'm hearing whoop that trick, whoop that trick. Yes, sometimes them karmic lessons will whoop our booty. Okay, but you can either stay in the safe area and not learn anything else and grow and expand, or you could choose to take that key, unlock that gate and go out there and be like, okay, yeah, I may stumble. I may even fall, 
but I'm going to get back up and I'm going to take that lesson. I'm going to take that L, whatever. I'm going to learn it and it's going to make me progress even further because I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep persevering through it, right? Because there's so much more to gain. There's so much more to learn out there for you. Um, but you just have to live in your truth. Some of y'all, this is like coming out, you know, you stepping out there, showing yourself, showing the world who you are. You know, somebody may think you weird, but you step out there anyway. You know, somebody may think you crazy, but you do it anyway, right? And then when it pay off, they looking dumbfounded. You know what I'm saying? Then they like, well, what? Scorpio did what? Yes, bitch. Scorpio did that. Okay. <laughs> Affirmation. I am blessed with an abundantly spiritual life. Every day in every way, my joyous prosperity grows and grows. Come on now. So y'all are very, I'm getting like very spiritual energy. Um... But yeah, some of y'all just has to do with work. You may have to like step outside your comfort zone when it comes to work, but it's about to, it's about to rain in a lot. Okay, let's see. What's the garden in the gate for Scorpio? Garden in the gate for Scorpio, please, spirit. What's the garden in the gate for Scorpio? We have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This is about being positive, loving what you do. This is even like in love, like, you know, like, man, I love doing that, but I'm, I'm afraid because like, what if, what if I do that and it fails? Or what if I do that and then it don't work out? That's fear. You're allowing fear to control you, but you love doing something. So go for it. Go experience it. This could even be a relationship. You could be like, man, I really, I really love this person, but I'm scared to take that leap. Then you're not, never going to have the experience. You're never going to find out where it's going to go if you don't take that leap. If you allow fear to hold you back or you allow... What he say, she say stuff to hold you back. You see what I'm saying? Failure. Some of y'all just, y'all are afraid to fail again. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Some of y'all are just afraid that uh, things are going to fail, you know? And Spirit is saying, don't do that. Don't don't let that. And this could be somebody coming towards you, but I feel like this is you. I'm speaking directly to you, Scorpio. Don't let that hold you back from experiencing love or experiencing an opportunity you know, they say it's better to love than to have never loved at all. So, and this could go as far as anything. This don't have to be a relationship, y'all, because not everybody want love, you know? Not everybody want love. Some of y'all love what you do as far as like painting, creating music, you know, doing tarot, creating a YouTube channel, TikTok, dance, you know, all kind of stuff. We're very creative, um, a very creative zodiac sign. We can transform anything. Let's be real. So, um, let's see, what's going on? Scorpio's energy. Can I have two cards, please? Yeah, yeah, two of cups. Some of y'all have a relationship or a partnership, working and collaborating with a person, bringing this energy of love into this here where you both have mutual respect for each other. So that's good. Bottom of the deck, the moon. Yeah, again, it could be like fear. There could be somebody coming in real fast, eight of wands with the moon energy. But there could be fear. You know, you're, you're, you, this could be making you anxious. <laughs> This could be, this could, you could be like, you know, like, okay, there's some illusion behind here. And it could be because of how fast things are going or how quick something came in or something like that. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Six of Swords. But I see forward movement. I see calmer waters coming. I see healing and progress. But it's after some sort of betrayal here. It is after some sort of backstabbing energy or some sort of like major ending in your life. Okay, maybe there was some bitterness there or like bad mouthing or, um, and you know, just um, somebody could have like, you know, tried to take you out. And I ain't even gonna lie. Okay. You could have had to sever ties with something or someone, but then like you move on and you move forward here and you, the star, you got the star in the six of wands, but this is where you find victory. This is where you find hope and recognition, like. Something had to end with this Ten of Swords, whether it was somebody stabbing you in the back, creating a major ending in your life, you know, uh, severing ties or saying your final goodbyes to, to somebody or finally putting the, the nail in the coffin to a situation that no longer serves you, right? In order for you to have this new love, this new connection, um, this balanced energy, you know, this, this connection where there's like mutual respect between you two. Um, the Star and the Six of Wands is about victory and success hoping restored you getting the recognize recognition that you deserve the positivity you know and that's what you're moving towards with that six of wands energy i mean six of swords energy so that's good you got six six maybe significant this week as well 30 number three forward movement this is good i feel like your faith is going to be restored in a situation after being betrayed or being stabbed in the back 
from something or someone here. And that's where you're going to, but you have to step outside your comfort zone because it's like, you know, maybe you did get stabbed in the back or maybe you got betrayed in some sort of way, right? And that kind of kept you um, in your little protective bubble. Like, you know what? Well, long as I go, I don't go outside of this, then I ain't got to worry about getting hurt. But you also miss out on opportunities, you know? What's the two of cups for Scorpio? Two of cups energy for Scorpio. Past life, knowing deja vu and past love. So again, something about the past could be significant. This could be somebody, ooh, destiny, luck, chance, and meant to be. Now, for some of y'all, this could be somebody returning from the past. But this could also be like you meet somebody and you feel like, wow, this is like deja vu. I feel like I've known you before. Or I felt like like we've, we've uh, you could have known this person in a past life. Like literally, like y'all meet and like the connection is just like, bam, like it's, it's strong. It's magnetic. Like you feel like y'all were fated to meet. You feel like y'all were fated to come together. Now, there could be some obstacles and blocks when it comes to like communication and things like this or things like that. Because uh, you got courting man. Or woman, okay? Uniform, professional male. This person could be very professional or could work, um, maybe has some sort of uniform, works in a uniform or something like that. But there could be some sort of blockage or, or something like that when it comes to like communication um, or online or something is what I see. A young female, youthful music and fashion. For some of y'all, uh, a younger feminine could be significant with children. That could be what the blockage is. For some of y'all, this person has like another person. Spiritual growth. Maybe they're learning a lesson from that situation. Somebody could have a teenager. Hmm. Somebody could, bless you, mama. For some, bless you. For some of y'all, this person has learned like something significant when it comes to like children or another feminine energy here work profession college and workplace now others of you now this could be you you know there could be a blockage because you're busy with kids you're busy with taking care of yourself maybe you have like a a teenager and 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 three other kids or like you have a you're a young parent, you're a young mom or something like that. And you have to learn and you're working and growing and collaborating all together by yourself, you know. And so, but this person here is like, a, so that could be a block. It's like, maybe y'all work a lot. <laughs> y'all could work a lot. And so there could be uh, issues with communication. A block, or that could be like a blockage from y'all like being able to date and things like that. What's the two of cups with the past life? Marriage in reverse. So you could be meeting this person after you've went through a breakup or after they've went through a breakup. Wealthy man at the bottom of the deck. This person could be very well financially stable. Um, but something about this and this person, when you meet this person, something will click. Like it's something about a breakup or a divorce or something like that will be of significance between you two. Like y'all be able to relate on that type of uh, topic or something like that. This is a gift coming in. This is a blessing coming in. But um, there could be some change that's happening when this best blessing comes in. So there could be some concern with this mature woman. There could be another feminine involved or... There could be some concern because you've learned a lot. You know, with that mature woman, you're very mature. You, you've went through some things. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no spring chicken. You know, but it's, it's like, mm, like, <laughs> is this is this what I think it is? You know, I don't know. You may be questioning it or, you know, you've learned just a few cycles before. You kind of wonder, like, is this going to be a blessing or what? Adjudication. Pathway. Um, some of y'all, there's going to be a concern about a mature woman is going to be of significance in, 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 in this connection. I don't know if this was somebody that they were married to or somebody that uh, that they're uh, breaking away from or something. This is two of cups with past life. What's that? And that mature woman could, I mean, it could be a mother, it could be an a aunt, it could be, I don't know, it could be anybody in their life or your life, something like that. What's two of cups with past life? Challenges. Make a decision, work on inner healing. So both of y'all, y'all may um, have mutual respect because y'all went, y'all both went through some sort of divorce or breakup. 
And that right there, y'all, it's like when y'all come together, y'all can't make it up. Divorce. Experiencing a breakup. When y'all come together, it's like this person could be coming out of a divorce or like uh, getting ready to divorce or something. Okay? And when y'all meet, it's like y'all, I don't know, y'all connect on that. It's like y'all both to choose to heal or y'all are healing from something in order to have a, a mutual connection or some of y'all could be some of y'all are healing from a narcissistic uh, relationship or a narcissistic ex or something like that someone is too full of themselves let go make room for the new beginning on its way to you now y'all may be able to co uh, connect because y'all both dealt with like a narcissistic ex or like a toxic ex or a very one-sided connection or something like that and y'all are like, okay, like this, you know, this is what I was going through, boo, 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 boo. And it's like, y'all both had to heal from that or y'all both are healing from that. Something like that. Okay. What's this two of cups? With the past life. Cloud hungry. Says anything, does anything, make ish up and dramatic. Some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was cloud hungry or that did stuff for attention in the past. Now... What's, tell me more. We're just two of cups in the past life. Ain't shit. Yeah. Ooh. Bottom of the deck. Child neglect. Bad parents and scared of hates parents, etc. What's two of cups for the past life? Same shit. Just a different day. Okay. Thief. Rob, lost, theft, physical, or emotional, and legal issues. Yeah, I told y'all. Some of y'all, y'all are, when y'all meet, y'all are going to be able to connect about. Somebody that was like cloud hungry or somebody that like was willing to do anything that wasn't shit. Okay. They wasn't shit. But it's like the same stuff, just a different day. Like being, uh, you felt like somebody just kind of took advantage of you. This person, some of y'all, y'all dealt with somebody in the past that was so one-sided. Like y'all felt like y'all got used or just like took advantage of in some sort of way. So again, y'all could be going through like a divorce when you meet this person or this person is going through a divorce or a breakup where they really got taken advantage of in some sort of way or you got taken advantage of this could have already happened to you in the past and that's why you're not so quick as to jump into a connection with this person but when y'all meet it's like something about y'all's past life but y'all both have experienced something like this and something just ain't changed you know with with your your ex or something something like that bottom of the deck dust it off or this is when you meet this person after you've went through that like you've went through the situation, you've divorced this person, and then you meet this person, and it's after you know went through somebody that was cloud hungry doing stuff for attention. They like to, you know, they just ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? They kind of on the same old, same old. They nothing's changing. They they still take advantage of people. They still use people for money. You know, this person is going through legal issues and stuff like that. Okay, but you could have dusted it off and moved in, or this was somebody that caused you legal issues because they want to take from you. They an ain't shit person. And they tried to take advantage of you, you know. And you could be coming into a new partnership with somebody. Well, this is what you did in the past. Man, y'all dealt with an asshole. <laughs> somebody dealt with an asshole. Very narcissistic, one-sided connection. Definitely a butthole type of energy. They're... Uh, they could be like an attention whore. Like whoever this is, they like attention. And they just, they ain't shit, but they like attention. That's crazy. But nothing, you may notice this person ain't never changed. Or like, you could have chose to heal, right? But when you look back at this person, this person's still on the same bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Like if they, once it's like, if you divorce this person or you divorce, hold on so y'all, she turned up. Some of y'all, y'all dealt with somebody like this in the past. Like, if there's an ex that y'all broke up from or released, that person ain't changed. They still on the same stuff. Like, they could have used you, took advantage of you, and stuff like that, caused you legal issues and stuff like that, right? Or it was just, you know, unfair to you in some sort of way. You could have chose to heal from this person and move forward, right? They ain't changed. They just went to the next victim. They still on the same bullshit. What's the six of swords? I feel like you done moved on from this. So what's that six of swords energy? 
that could be the reason why you're, you know, you're kind of like, no, I know, you know, I've created the safe haven for myself. I don't want to step back out there. Y'all may be afraid that you're going to meet another narcissistic person. And that could be the reason why you're not wanting to take a leap. But Spirit is saying you're about to move to karma waters. Like it's time for you to move on from this. It's time for you to get back out there. Six of Swords energy. This is about moving on. You got gossip here. People could be gossiping about this, saying how you, oh, some of y'all are doing like really well, really well in work, profession, college, and workplace. Some of y'all are doing like really well in work or your or, or something about your work is, is significant. Y'all do have like a, a, ma a more mature masculine energy that's interested in dating you. They're very focused on you or they see how focused you are. Okay. This could end up being a very intense connection as well. Um, but you may feel shy when it comes to this person or this person feels shy to come towards you. So now this person could, there could be an age gap. You may be holding back from this person or you may hold ooh, passion or they feel like you're holding back when it comes to chemistry and your ooh, career business success and advance. But y'all could be meeting this person in the workplace. It's going to be like this person may feel like you're holding back when it comes to sex. Maybe y'all are celibate or something like that. So you're you're deciding to hold back. But, oh, y'all going to work with this person. Y'all going to work with this person. It's going to be a blessing in disguise. You're going to be surprised because y'all could potentially build something together. But there could be some gossip going around about your work or something that you do for work right now, too. As you're moving forward, you're moving on. Some Y'all could be traveling. There could be some gossip going on about how you've overcame some sort of hardship in your life, in your past. What's the Six of Swords with the gossip for Scorpio? Clarify Six of Swords with the gossip energy for Scorpio. Despair. Coffin. This could be somebody that you ended things with or you moved on from because 32 is about change. So you could people could be saying that you've changed a lot or something like that. There could be a job change, mature man. Who is this mature man? High honor, main female, and journey. Somebody really has a lot of respect for you. Like they see you as high honor. They see you as like somebody that they want to go on a new venture with. Like they want to see you as like their main person, their main focus. Like they want to work with you because you got mature man, high honor, main female, journey and occupation this person may want to travel with you go places with you work with you oh my gosh privileged lady they want to help level you up boss you up but somebody's in despair why is somebody in despair why is somebody in despair why the despair energy toilet and labor great fortune because they didn't work with you 38 is 11 you were on somebody's path and they didn't work with you or somebody's in despair because you're not working with them anymore and you're you're very focused or they see how she's like ticking away she's like working to the bone here great fortune at the bottom of the deck somebody didn't like see your value oh my gosh yeah thief you're moving on from somebody that took advantage of you, that stole from you, or like used you in some sort of way here. Some of y'all are moving on from a job. There could be a change in job, thief, imprisonment, and lovers. But others of you, this could have been like a love connection where somebody just kind of took advantage of you. Had you working extra hard, had you putting in a whole bunch of work and and not really getting the recognition that you deserve. Yeah. Somebody sees how hard you've worked and how you've changed. What is it, mama? You want to crawl around on the floor? Hold on. What's six of swords? Pets. Getting a new pet, giving current pet more love. Something about pets can be significant. Some of y'all need to pay more attention to your pets. Hold on one second. Okay. Let's see. Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. And gold digger. Yeah, some of y'all, y'all dealt with, they want, they want your money being used.
for some of y'all, y'all are moving on from a person that literally like tried to take advantage of you, that used you for your money, that has you like doing all this work that you were very loyal to. Because the pet's card could represent like loyalty, like you were very loyal to this person. But this person could have treated you like a pet, like an option. Like they had multiple options, multiple pets. <laughs> Not trying to call you a pet or nothing, but like, you know, they would come over here, give this person attention. Then they come over here, give this person attention. You know, somebody could have treated you like you were an option. Communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Yes, your uh, luck is on your side. And guardian, a lost loved one watches over you. But you're being protected as you move forward and you move on from this energy. And this person is in despair because you were very loyal. You were very loyal to this person. But now you're on your journey. You're moving on from them. You're getting away from them. What's the Six of Swords? Fake flexing. Acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. Mm, what's the Six of Swords with the gossip? Curious about you. Okay. What's the Six of Swords with the gossip? Talking shit. Well, damn. Six of Swords with the gossip. Six of Swords with the gossip. An offer. Six of Swords with the gossip. And travel. So something about traveling is uh, of significance or you just moving. Creativity mantra. Look. <laughs> Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. This is somebody, again, that literally was feeding off of you. Like they were taking advantage of you. They were making you work extra hard. Like you could have been like working to the bone. You know what I'm saying? Like putting in like so much work. Some of y'all were working like two, three jobs just to either like make ends meet or to like get through this. Something like that with that two of cups here. Like y'all, you know, and whoever this person was, if y'all were like married to this person or in a connection with this person, this person was like taking advantage of your loyalty, taking advantage of the commitment. Like, Ari, what are you doing? Hold on, y'all. Okay. Y'all, she's on the, I'm sorry, y'all. She's distracting me. She's on the floor. Y'all, she's starting to crawl. I'm going to show y'all. Look. Look at baby Ari. Look at her. Can I see her back there? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ari. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on, keep going. Sorry. Y'all, she's getting so big. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so for some of y'all, this person, they was fake flexing, right? You know, they was acting like they had it together, acting like, you know, trying to show off and stuff. Like, maybe they were flexing on you, you know, while you was over here working away, building your business, doing what you needed to, you know, working two, three jobs, you know. This person could be curious about you, but they could actually have talked a lot of shit about you said a lot of things about you, but they actually wanted to offer you something. Or you could have accepted an offer elsewhere and you've moved. Okay, some of y'all could be moving because we have an offer and travel, right? But with this talking shit, there could be, you know, people could just be talking shit about you now. Maybe these are people you're no longer working with, you're no longer collaborating with because they, fake, they were fake. They were fake or this person was fake. Bottom of the deck, creativity muncher. They realize now that you've traveled, you've distanced, you've moved on. Some of y'all have literally like changed your address because of this person. <laughs> she likes to play in the mirror. Some of y'all have like literally. What's this? What's this? An offer with the travel card? What's that? An offer with the travel card for Scorpio? Carless, no car repo, car issues. Some of y'all have moved so far. Like this, this person can't even like, can't even get to you. Dirt digging, look for dirt on your vice versa. Others, if you was like this person tried to stop, stop your forward movement or stop you from getting an offer. 
Always partying. Yeah, this is somebody. I had a love, respected, admired, idolizing fan. For some of y'all, this is somebody that wanted to make. Hey, you gonna knock that thing over? Hold on. Okay. Some of y'all, this person like tried to keep you from moving forward or, or like create some sort of stagnation in your life because they didn't want to see you enjoying your life or they didn't want to see you having fun. Or this is somebody that does a lot of partying and drinking, stuff like that. So they create their own stagnation in their life. You know, they do too much in their life, so they can't. I just heard can't come with you. But like you're in this idol energy where you're like love, respected, admired, idolized and stuff like that. So it's like love triangle. But somebody could have put you in a third party uh, situation. Oh, child. Moves in silence and fishing for comments. Somebody could be, whoever this is, they could be on your social media. Like trying to find out if you're talking to anybody. Try to find out if uh, photo proof getting evidence. They're trying to get information on who you're talking to or who... Some of y'all may not be posting as much. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all have moved or like moved on or relocated or something like that. Something about travel. Are you moving on or moving forward, right? Things are becoming calm for you. They they wonder why you're so calm and, and shit like that. Look. But this is somebody that was like flexing on you or like trying to create stagnation in your life that didn't really want anything serious, but... And I, but you moved on and now they wondering about you. I don't know. Maybe it'll come out in the next reading. Um, but yeah. Why is this person in despair though, like that? Why are they why why the despair energy with the toil and labor? Seven of Wands. Why the despair energy with the toil and labor? Because now you could have blocked them. Or they blocked you. Why despair with the toilet and labor? You could have blocked this person. Five of Wands and the Page of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Because the change is happening now. Maybe you were. Maybe they put you at the bottom of the wheel. Or things weren't going in your favor at one point in time. Um, there could have been a lot of conflicts. Arguing. Clash of Egos type of energy. Drama going on. And somebody may want to come towards you. And offer an apology with the Page of Cups. Or just offer some sort of love or comfort towards you. As you're moving on. Um, but luck is it on your side here. The will is turning in your favor. So somebody wanted, it's like somebody wanted you to be in despair or wanted you to keep working to the bone, like things not happening for you or like change not happening for you here. Now this could also be somebody else, like because they were fake flexing and trying to act like they were better than you and stuff like that. Stuff could be changing. Good things could be coming in for you. Your luck is coming in now. And like, you know, once somebody's on top of the wheel, somebody, has, you know, something, you know, if they ain't doing what they're supposed to, then karmic justice has to be served. So maybe they were at the top of the wheel at one point doing this to you, right? You know, getting, being cloud hungry, uh, being this type of person, you know, taking advantage of you when you were loving, loyal, and had mutual respect for them or something like that. Now that you're moving on, now they're getting the same energy back. And now they realize, oh, I'm at the bottom of the wheel. Good luck is, good luck is happening for Scorpio. Um... Now they want to apologize to you because now they could be going through drama and stuff. Maybe you blocked them because it was drama. And because of, ma'am, quit messing with it. Maybe you blocked them because it was drama and it was like all kind of conflict and fighting going on, disagreements going on. Ari, that is trash, baby. Give me that. It's the trash can. You know what I'm that? Babies get in everything. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, now it could be a struggle now because they caused all this conflict in the past or what they did in the past. They could be wanting to apologize to you, but you could be very, you could be listening to your intuition about this person and that's why you kind of not going towards them anymore. I don't know. They realize how much hard work it's going to be to come towards you now. Three of Swords, after they broke your heart and betrayed you? Oh, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Baby, Ten of Pentacles. Baby, listen. I don't know who this is. But if you betrayed Scorpio and Scorpio had to bring out that stinger, baby, ain't no coming back. <laughs> I don't know who need to hear that. Ain't no coming back. 
some of y'all about to have like a large sum of money coming in or like your your stability is about to change baby you about to boss the fuck up okay is what it looks like some of y'all about to inherit some sort of uh property or or, or business or, or or some sort of money or something like that is about to grow for you and this person, they want to come back and apologize because maybe they were faking the funk like yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, and when they were getting over on you. But now they see you leveling up, and now they're like, "Well, wait, I don't know. I'm gonna leave there, Scorpio. Whoa, they, three of swords and ten of swords. Damn. Some of y'all, this person could have betrayed you with a third party. I don't know. I'm gonna get off that anyway. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.